three major areas along the river is what they call the 100 area, and that's where the reactors are located. There were nine reactors altogether. Uh, the 200 area is where the spent fuel was taken in order to extract the plutonium, and huge amounts of waste were generated there. I'll tell you more about that. The ERDF is a series of huge, really huge trenches where they are now taking the pieces of dismantled buildings that have low-level radioactivity and burying them in these trenches. And there they will stay permanently. So 200 East and West have a lot of contamination from the plutonium processing plants. And then down uh, just in the lower right corner, you see the 300 area. And uh, that's where, um, let's take this with me. Uh, the 300 area is where uranium was turned into fuel elements. So it was, um, fuel elements were made there, they were radiated in the reactors, and then taken to the 200 area for the plutonium to be extracted. This shows um, the areas. The Hanford Reach National Monument is a part of the site that was a kind of a security buffer zone. And it actually is now under the, it's administered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, not by the Department of Energy. The objective is to try to shrink the area that needs to be watched because of contamination <coughs> to as small an area as possible. So they're trying to move everything into the central plateau. <coughs> um, so the, uh, the National Monument is one area. The River Corridor is where the reactors and the 300 area is actually in the River Corridor. And then this central plateau area is uh, the, the third. <coughs> now, here are some, I, I realize there's a lot on this slide. <laughs> so, uh, 1900 waste sites. I looked up uh, a list of, it was really individual waste sites, and it was 123 <coughs> pages oh, uh, of uh, individual waste sites. And it was everything from places where they had dumped spent uh, motor oil to tremendous uh, dumps of radioactive material. So the second line there, 444 billion gallons of contaminated liquid were dumped onto the soil in the 200 area where the plutonium finishing plutonium plants were. They dug trenches, unlined trenches, and they would dump stuff out of the plant into these trenches, and when the trench got full, they dig another one. So they have now about 43 miles of unlined trenches that have had contamin contaminated waste put into them. So, and that was the least, the less hazardous stuff. The really hot radioactive material was put into 177 tanks 149 of which were single shell tanks. So we know that 67 tanks have leaked up till now. Uh, the number keeps growing, and these tanks are so far beyond their design life that it can be anticipated that more and more of them will fail. Cleanup has been in progress for 24 years, and 40 more years is a gross underestimate in my, uh, in my opinion. It will take much more than that to finish this cleanup. Uh, the shoreline burial grounds sites should be largely cleaned up uh, by the end of 2015. Now, that refers to burial sites where they put solid materials, drums of, of waste stuff, everything from cleanup rags to radioactive materials. But, uh, and, and that, that they probably will be able to clean up. There's also 
a huge amount of uh, hexavalent chromium, a cancer-producing chemical, that was uh, accidentally dumped onto the ground. And the DOE has completed at a couple of these sites a dig that went all the way down to the groundwater to get the contaminated soil away from the river. Uh, in one of those sites, they took about 1.7 million cubic yards of soil out and removed it to, uh, away from the river. Um, the quote around the cleaned up refers to the fact that the, the reactors themselves have been encased in what they call cocoons, and so they think they're in a safe storage mode and they plan to leave them there for another 75 years. But underneath some of these reactors, there's leakage of radioactive material, so they can't begin to clean that up until they remove the reactor from it. So, they, you know, in 75 years, they're still going to have a lot of cleanup to do. Uh, so, oh, the vitrification plant. This huge pro chemical processing plant uh, started out to have about a three and a half billion dollar price tag. Uh, currently, they're saying 12 and a half billion, but, I, but it keeps going up. And in any case, because of design flaws, which they discovered they had to stop construction of major parts of that plant. So, there's, who knows when they'll get it restarted, but in any